I'm looking for a lioness. I've been waiting for you not to chat, so I just I'm going to just upload this and put your name. If you guys uh send a payment and you know y'all don't put y'all you no know, contact information, just know I'm gonna always upload it. So just go to my videos and it's gonna have the name that you put in the four. No biggie, we can always keep this uh discreet. Let's drop here. Two of swords. Five of swords. Ace of swords. It's a lot of swords going on in here. You need to be careful of knives, maybe cutting yourself or someone coming up to cut you. Somebody is trying to steal something from you. Somebody can uh, possibly be targeting you right now for something. Maybe having too much knowledge or something. You really need to be careful. Three of coins. And it may be that someone may try to stab you up or some shit up in public instead of trying to shoot you. I don't know, but this is a lot of swords right here. That's a lot of swords. And then with this one, it's five of swords. It looks as if someone is being deceitful and taking things from behind your back so this may be actually a robbery that goes wrong yeah if you have some sort of relationship or are you, uh, if you're in a relationship you need to be careful with your partner you and your partner need to be careful make sure you guys are not being flashy Yeah, the hangman and uh, king of swords, there's some sort of, could be some sort of beef or some sort of rivalry or some sort. Um, you need to make sure you stay clear of not being at the wrong place at the wrong time when it comes to this partner that you have. And if you um, do not have a partner, it may be that when you get with this person, you need to be careful of these things. But I definitely sense that this is right now. Yeah, because this person could actually end you guys off in a nine of swords moment. I don't know why I'm seeing, I'm getting Magnolia Shorty's story in my head. Magnolia Shorty uh, was one of the most legendary bounce, with female bounce artists. She was killed in her car. That she shared with her boyfriend in front of the apartment complex. Niggas waited on them and, sh and shut up the car on approach. So you need to be careful for this type of situation. You need to really be careful in general because you are somebody that... I want to say are in a public eye in some sort. Like even if you're not in a public eye, people can look at you and tell that you have money. Even if you feel like you're struggling, people feel like you have money. Something could be significant about California, 323. If you haven't gone there or traveled there, you need to travel there. If you have traveled there, this is a place that you actually like. Three of Cups, yeah. Also, friendships. You need to keep people out of your business when it comes to regards to your relationships because you don't want somebody to set you and your partner up or your future partner up over friendships. You got some bank now, and people can sell that. I dropped three more hills. Yeah, hey, yeah. These cards just speak for themselves. The world, the number 21 could be significant. Eight of Swords. The Empress. 213 could be significant. 321. Definitely 321. You about to take off. 420 could be significant. I say that 420 on the clock, so you need to relax. You probably smoke a little herb. Or if you don't, you probably should check into that because that might help you relax. You got that 420 on the clock. We also got 422 when I said that. You also need to become more selfish and that may actually prevent any issues with people knowing the finances that you have. Nine of coins. Yeah, you definitely need to be careful, especially within your surroundings.
within the next few months. Somebody probably was planning to do something within the next few months. If you have children or if you have some type of, well, you have to have some type of income coming. So I'm guessing be careful with this tax season. You could possibly do taxes, file taxes, enter the tax business or something. Be careful because whatever it is that you have going on, people are aware of this, whether you know it or not. Yeah, within the next few weeks, within the next few months, this is consistent revenue coming. This is consistent revenue coming. Also, forgiveness, maybe to old friends, old classmates, people that you may have known could even be family members. People that have even ruined your career, messed up your career. The career that you was working for or building towards. And also you need to listen to your intuition. Yeah, when it comes to this romance. I don't know, boy. Maybe this person that you are with, somebody is planning to set this person up. Or plan, this person could possibly be planning to set you up in some type of way, to prop you in some type of way. But you need to be careful. You need to be careful. Maybe if you're not in a relationship, somebody may try to come up to you on some relationship shit. And that's in regards to some, some shit that ain't, that ain't, that ain't cool. Hold on. she is not financially stable yeah please be careful when it comes to relationships for somebody depriving you this could possibly be spiritual robbing as well um finessing you using you telling you to do things with your money wop not i love you you need to practice on consistency So this person doesn't love you. Is this what you can do for them romantically in the bedroom? Which I mean, it's still a win. A win is a win. Yeah. This person is not stable, but you have consistency and you are stable. And that's why this individual is uh, plotting this on you. So I'm guessing this person is planning to like steal your, your consistency, your stability, all of that. Like this person... Doesn't have good motives, whether you know it or not, this person, yeah, you are guarded and protected. Whether you know it or not, this person really don't have finances like that. Your heart requires more exercise, like singing. You could possibly like singing as a career, a hobby. You could possibly be a singer. Do not let he or she to your home or anything you cherish. Yeah, if you are in a relationship, I just seen 9-11 on the clock. If you're in a relationship, you probably need to move your home. Because this person not being honest with you and you being honest with this person, you real honest. This person isn't honest to you about something. Yeah, you need to do more Bible study about what a real man that around you will actually feel like. You feel a lot of red flags with this person too, yeah. This person is also aggressive, forceful. I see a lot of red flags and look at the flags. Aggressive, forceful, comes off gentle, but will get the fuck rough. He or she is sorry, mental health. So a love, so maybe this person already did do this to you. If you were in an abusive relationship, I recommend you leave today, tonight. You don't seem like you live with this person, but if you leave with this person, you need to be planning to do an escape route. And that's just at, at a thousand on the clock. If you are in an abusive relationship, this isn't good. And you need to trust me on this one. You yourself are doing so good that God is proud of you. You are healthy and blessed. Ask for forgiveness. So maybe you need help from family or friends right now. 
you know, just for a little cushion space so you don't have to pay for hotels or anything like that, go ahead and talk to them. Ask for forgiveness for whatever was done there because we keep getting forgiveness here a lot. So there's some sort of forgiveness that needs to be going. And if this is forgiveness to this partner, definitely not forgiveness to this partner, not for their mental health. But if this is you that's mentally abusing, being aggressive, and doing this to this person, you do need to ask for forgiveness for this person. If I'm reading your person, if you're abusing your person, you need to ask for forgiveness because I wouldn't recommend this person to stay with you. Never trust he or she again. Proceed with caution. Yeah, I don't know. I said that at 1111. It's a lot of angel numbers. You see a lot of angel numbers too. Girl, he or she is broke. They fake and you watch them. They will take from you and sell you out. The streets is talking. So, baby, the streets is talking about how this person ain't really living like that. How this beauty's next person top choice. Like, and if this ain't right right now, this is in the future. You need to be careful because you playing with somebody that, that ain't got it like that. They ain't really got it like that. They ain't really doing it like that. You need to be careful with this person. For real, for real. Because this person do not got it like that. This person is trying to send mass destruction to you. Don't trust your family. Maybe that's that forgiveness. Who knows? He or she is around to know your business but have no good intentions. So he said, don't trust your family. So somebody in your family could be a cousin, brother, sister, auntie, or uncle. They are just around you to know your business, to be inside of your business. They really ain't got no good intentions for you. You person just want to know your business. And I'm going to put you out three luxury cards. Thank you for the tip. The Empress, the Emperor, stable individual, knowing self powers, aware of self worth, guarding yourself. Well, yeah, we already got all that. Comfort. Dang, let's reconfirm what the green cards just said. You are comfortable in life. You always understand not to get too comfortable. We got charming right here, but let's see if they come back, pop back up. Yep. Charming. You are very pretty, handsome, smell good, and look good. You are everything in someone's eyes. So if you, I don't know, you in an aggressive relationship, abusive relationship. I don't know, you guys could probably be younger or started your careers younger so it's like i mean started your careers older so like young activity is going on but whatever this is like y'all don't need to be fighting and getting physical and shit because that could lead to an accidental death with all these swords and knives and shit so if you pulling out knives when you arguing with your person girl you better stop doing that shit because justice will get served but this justice call right here is saying yeah stop going crazy and shit girl Justice is being served for betrayal done towards you. God is currently spitting a block for you. Curse is reversed to all senders. So May 14, 14, maybe a person like cheated on you with some shit probably. And uh, whatever the person they cheated with knew about you with some shit, they going through some get back right now. Whatever going on, somebody going through some get back. The magician, spell work is being reversed. Spiritual cleansing is recommended. This might be you that I read earlier when I said, um, touch not my anointing. You might need to check out that video, the touch not my anointing video. And then I just said that at 1444 on the clock, then right here, prayer warrior just dropped out upside down. You need to pray more than more. Pray over everything you do and touch that it be blessed and become a blessing. So yes, yeah, somebody got some form of witchcraft over you. You could, uh, if you want to, a witchcraft reading, a secret reading is $100.
But since you already took good, you could go ahead and pay the difference from the $100. And I could go ahead and do the difference for the video for the hidden secrets. And we could get down to that. With that prayer warrior right there. Because why would he be telling you that you need to be praying like that? Let's see what else we get. One more. Yeah, the hangman. You are being very childish about a serious situation. Laugh now, cry later, be peaceful. Yeah, hit me up for um, a hidden secret reading. Thank you for the tip. I hope you have a beautiful night. You stay peaceful, consistent, and that everything keeps going great for you. You are in a great energy in life. Like you said, comfortable. Your finances are consistent. You're the breadwinner, you know? You're the breadwinner. Pay your coins. You have a positive change in your line of work, taking on more responsibility. So you're taking on more responsibility with everything you do. Yeah, stay up, stay positive. It's a lot of great things going on for you. I'm also getting a TV show. Maybe you are st starring in a TV show or about to be. Or this whole relationship shit may be on a TV show, about to be released on a TV show. I don't know what the hell you got going on, but... Make sure you're protecting your peace and you staying good and consistent. 